is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for another WWE Elite 2-in-1 review on the brand new Elite Series 90 Randy Orton and Mustafa Ali figures. Now, if you guys are excited about this set, you want to go ahead and grab this set, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. AEW, WWE, doesn't matter. Play sets, accessories, man. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I would greatly appreciate it, man. You guys already know how I feel about the white gear. As soon as Randy Orton came out in this gear, everybody was tagging me on Instagram and Twitter, and I, I love that. I love when you guys notice something about the product and you guys are thinking of me immediately. That means a lot to me. So when Randy Orton came out there, first of all, Randy Orton's one of my favorites of all time. So when he came out in this white gear, my social medias blew up. I lost my damn mind. It was beautiful, man. It was a great thing to see. I immediately tagged Bill and the Mattel team. I, I even posted on Instagram and said, use this as a Mattel, please make these attires in action figure form. It got like over 4,000 likes on it, and here we are, man. It's finally in the flesh. Not to mention this beautiful Mustafa Ali figure, man. The figures are getting better and better, and these two are fantastic. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. As you guys can see, front viewing windows, names across the bottom with images right here. On the side, you do get the same images of the two talents right there. On the back, we get images of the talent there. Beautiful, two beautiful men right here, man. On the back, you do get a little bio read. If you'd like to read them, you can pause them now. Rest of the figures in the wave. Spinning it around, you got their names on the side. True effects up there in the deal. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging on Mustafa Ali and Randy Orton, man. So with that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's crack Randy Orton and Mustafa Ali out of their packaging. So here's Randy Orton and Mustafa Ali out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far, man. Two of my favorite wrestlers in the company, you know. Uh, Randy Orton is in my probably top five all-time easy. But we're going to dive into all the details, man. Can't wait to get into it. We're going to start off with Mustafa Ali's accessories and then go into Mustafa Ali. And then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at Randy Orton's accessories and that beautiful-looking Randy Orton. So let's dive into it. So for Mustafa Ali's accessories, man, getting into it, we do have this cloth t-shirt, which I will say, man, it's crazy that I feel like Mattel has has just been pumping out the cloth accessories like it like it's going out of style like they literally have just been pumping them out and out and out and out and this is not sleeveless by the way this it does have sleeves on it they're just kind of pushed up in there so here's the t-shirt you get like that kind of retribution revolution style graphic where it's got the r and then it's like the flag you know like taking over and you know kind of like playing off the american flag a little bit there so there's the black t-shirt right there we'll see what it looks like on the figure later on but i'll never complain about a cloth t-shirt i love it it looks great even though he's wearing a tank top on the back of the packaging as as far as other accessories go, you know, you get interchangeable hands, and he does come with mic holding hands with the black hand tape on there, which is, you know, it is what it is. And if you guys notice blood staining on my fingers, it's from all these horror matches we've been doing. However, the last accessory, guys, is this face mask right here. Not as high quality, I think, as his other figures, his Elite 69 figure, but it does, like, clip onto the face right here. Well, I thought it clipped onto the face. It's giving me some epic trouble right now. So it clips onto the face like that, and if you guys want to do that, it goes right under the ears. The little clips go right under the ears and those little gaps and i love the likeness with the mask on there i like the colors and everything it kind of has like a grayish dark navy tone going to it but i like the way it looks i think that looks fantastic and if you guys are wondering about the interchangeable hands they are the wide open you can't see me hands or the entrance hands or like the you know the, like the pulse blaster iron man style deal for his entrance there so you get a decent amount of accessories with mustafa ali i enjoy it and that's all you get with him so getting into mustafa ali starting out with the head skull man i am digging the likeness a lot right here i think it looks just like him honestly like like maybe he has a little bit of long face syndrome, but I'm not, you know, I'm not finding any any bad issues with it. I like it a lot. The likeness is totally there. The only thing I don't like about it is the little neck flap right here, and then I think I need to fill in the beard a little bit. It's a dark brown color. I feel like if we came in with some black and touched up the bottom of it, thickened it up a little bit, it would look a lot better as well. Maybe we can do that on surgery or something, but the hair mold looks nice, and the likeness is super sick, so I'm all for that. Going down into the torso, same torso as his last figure, which is a whole deal. He also has double jointed arms that are pinless and this is beautiful to see man now we have a Mustafa Ali with double jointed arms so that is just classic he has his black wrist tape and hand tape on there you guys know how Mustafa Ali likes to do going down into the tights not as colorful as his last gear right last time we had the red gear you had the yellow gear this time we we're getting plain black but he does have the retribution logo
logo that we saw on the t-shirt down the side. He's got these stars and like general style stars and stripes going on. He has his knee pads that are plain black. And then down on the kick pads, he has that same style pattern here. And then that same R logo over there with the flag pattern and the white outlines on the thing. But dude, what a, what a beautiful specimen of a figure, man. I am enjoying this Mustafa Ali a lot. I think it is better than his first go around, but we are going to get into some comparisons. But if you guys wanted to see, I mean, at this point, we kind of know how the, you know, like the double jointed arms, they're magical, right? Like, I don't have any issues with that. I don't have a loose waist or anything. It's actually a really good waist swivel right there. It's actually really tight. No loose shoulders or anything. So Mustafa Ali is kicking all the asses, man. But let's get into these figure comparisons. So for your Mustafa Ali figure comparisons, guys, here you have the Elite 69 on the left, the Elite 69 Chase, and then the brand new Elite 90 in the middle. And one thing you'll probably immediately notice is the head sculpts on the older figures are massive. And uh, they actually shorten them up a little bit, but it could just be because the head sculpt's so massive. I would really like to see what these heads look like on each other, but this is not, you know, removable like this is. But they also gave him the extra neck flap on this figure as well. But out of our three Mustafa Ali elites, I enjoy all three of them, but I would say the new one is just better. Better head sculpt. You know, the attire, give or take, I don't know. I, I, like, the, I like the graphics, just maybe a little bit more color, but it fits the heel character. Uh, better head sculpt on this guy. Double jointed arms. You can't really go wrong with it, man. What a beautiful Mustafa Ali figure. Really impressed with it, and I'm a huge Mustafa Ali guy, so this, this works out for Trey. So for Randy Orton's accessories, man, we start off with this weapon accessory, which we've seen multiple times, and that is going to be this steel chair. It's got like some nice puffiness going on to the top part, you know, the back rest and then the, the butt rest, I guess you could say there, but we've seen this chair a lot. There's no WWE logos on it or anything like that, so that's always appreciated. I like it when it's, you know, kind of plain Jane, but it folds nice and looks good and everything like that. Outside of that, we also get his posing entrance hands here with the black hand tape, which we've seen a hundred million times before. You guys know the deal on that, but one thing that's new with Randy Orton is they did not give him fists. They actually gave him mic holding hands, man. What a day it is. Not only do we get the hand tape on there and you get the interchangeable hands, but they're mic holding hands. That is just freaking epic, right? That is just beautiful. Finally, mic holding hands. Now we just got to get Jeff Hardy. I know Jeff Hardy's had some with mic holding hands, but never a regular release, I don't think. And then his last accessory is these night vision goggles from Legends Night, I think it was, where he sent like the whole roster to AEW. And you know, you just kind of clip that on there and you can pull the goggles. I, damn, that fits way better than I thought it would. That looks really good on the figure too. Head sculpt looks really good. Like, dude, what? That fits beautifully. Kind of looks like a Marvel character or something, but you guys get the silver tones and the black with the purple on there. And yeah, now you have send everybody to AEW Night Vision goggles, which is pretty cool. So getting into Randy Orton himself, man, starting out at the head sculpt. I like this head sculpt. I will say, I thought that it looked better in render images. It still looks good, don't get me wrong, but I feel like in person it looks kind of more cartoony than I was expecting it to. Doesn't look bad whatsoever. I think I may even come in here and give him like uh, a bald technique on the sides or maybe like I may even make him completely bald. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to play around with that and see. But I still like the figure. I like the head sculpt and everything like that. It looks great. Going down into the torso, same, you know, Randy Orton, Dolph Ziggler, Finn Balor style torso. He does have his rib tattoo right there. And I will say, I think this is a tad different than his last Elite. We're going to compare it here in a moment. But I want to say these right here, I feel like they came on to the torso more. I, I could be wrong about that. You know, we'll see about all of those things. But with these double jointed arms, this is our first Randy Orton, not only with Mike holding hands, but double jointed arms, which makes it the best Randy Orton, I think. But there's not a ton of tattoo detail. It kind of reminds me of his older elites where the arms are kind of skinnier. They're not as big as I would probably like. I feel like the arms could be a little bit bigger, but I do like the, the tattoos. You know, you, you could see some of the skulls and stuff like that, which you can see over here. But they look pretty much the same as his last elite, even though his elite, his last elite had bigger arms. Like they were bigger, they just weren't double jointed. However, black wrist tape looks good. Here is the trunks. Now, one thing you guys will want to know is on these trunks, they actually didn't put the right graphic on the back. It's not supposed to say Orton. It's supposed to say RKO. So that is something that I don't know if they're going to run and change that. I do have a little nick on the back of the butt cheeks right there. However, the gear looks beautiful. I love it. When he came out in this, I was super excited for it. So the black, red, and white looks really, really clean. But I don't know if they're going to fix the RKO. I don't mind the Orton. It still looks sick as hell. It's just not accurate because, you know, he has RKO. This graphic right here is supposed to be on the butt too, but I don't mind it. You know, it's, I'd rather it be accurate. So if they get a running change, I'll have to get the, you know, I'll get that figure too. But he has the white knee pads with the, you know, the RKO logos, the black thigh tape on there, a little bit of paint chip on the thigh there that bothers me. And then the solid black boots for the Randy Orton. But dude, what a freaking figure, man. Good God in heaven. What a gorgeous looking figure. I'm so glad this came in before the end of the year. I would really, you know, since there's like two full months left, 
I feel like we'll get Elite 91 before, you know, it, it probably won't hit retail. I don't think we'll get, these will hit retail before the end of the year, but I would really like to see Elite 91 hit retail. I don't think that'll happen, but I do think we will get Elite 91 in hand in review before, you know, it's all said and done. But for your Randy Orton figure comparisons, we do have his last Elite here, and this is the Elite 78 Randy Orton. So you guys can kind of see here on the arms what I'm talking about. Like his arms are bigger over here, right? Like he is, his arms are clearly bigger. They just don't have the double jointed on there and the tattoos are a little bit more faded. And I just realized that they pretty much just inverted this figure. You guys can see this is like black with red writing and white outline there. And then you have the white with the black writing and red outline. So pretty interesting there. So, you know, it is what it is. But if you guys wanted to look at the head sculpts, you guys can see like they both look like Randy Orton. I just felt like this is a more realistic look. This is more like a cartoony look. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below, but I like both anyways, and uh, I do have one more comparison, and that is Randy Orton with his tag team partner, Matt Riddle. So we have RK Bro here. They're not in matching gear or anything, but they look pretty cool next to each other, so if you guys wanted to see that, and then if you wanted to see the new Randy Orton with the tag title, there's that. So there's RK Bro with their tag championships, and that all looks good, man. But that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Elite Series 90 review on Randy Orton and Mustafa Ali, man. Really impressed with these. Had a ton of fun reviewing them and enjoying them for you guys. Like, I, they pose around great. They look great. Great accessories. Great attires. Just, I feel like the figure sets get better and better every single time, man. So, if you guys would like to grab these, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles and use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. If you have not picked up a Randy Orton in forever, this is your Randy Orton, man. I would say upgrade it anyway because it's the white gear and it's double jointed arms. So, I mean, that's uh, that's worth the pickup right there. You get some pretty sick accessories with the steel chair and the night goggles that actually I did, I wasn't a fan of, but now that I saw them on the figure, it looks super badass. And then for the Mustafa Ali, same thing as the Elite 69. I think it's a better head sculpt. I think it's better posability. It has the cloth t-shirt. And it has the face mask, man. What are you waiting for? Get get both of them. I think they're must grabs. Unless you're just a flashback collector or, you know, you don't care for the characters or whatever the case is, man. These are really fun, man. I Like, no doubt worth the pickup. Definitely go grab them over at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS. I think they're worth the grab for sure. And I'll be grabbing more as they roll out to retail, no doubt about it. But thank you guys so very much for checking out the review. I would love to know what you think down in the comment section below. We do have the finals of the MDT Horror Tournament of the Damned coming tonight. So definitely stay tuned for that, man. Should be an epic clash of epic proportions. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like uh, the ne the neck flappage, man. What is, look, look at the neck flappage on the freaking Mustafa Ali. You cross the line.